Emily and Chris, you have already had quite the journey. You met eight years ago in the most romantic way possible, Tinder. Uh, a week after matching and chatting online, you realised that you were both catching the same train home from Leamington Spa. So our smooth operator, this guy, uh, messaged and said, save me a seat, I'll buy you a coffee. Uh, and he has been making her coffee ever since. As you previously heard, Chris and Emily met on a train courtesy of Tinder on Sunday 23rd of March 2014. These people pinch your jokes all the time, don't they? It's dreadful. Her comment to me after their first meeting was that he was very nice and that he was very tall when they got up from their seats at Marylebone. She didn't know until he actually got up. It's just quite interesting. Um, anyway, to sum up, I don't think we could wish for a better partner in life for Emily. I think it's super. I think it would be entirely unfair of me if I didn't ask for this moment to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. didn't have much time to waste on love. <laughs> sure, there, there was the odd dalliance, but um, nothing really to write home about until that fateful day on the train that we've heard so much about today. <laughs> Let's hear some more about that. Yes, most dates begin in a romantic restaurant, but Chris is a practical Yorkshireman. And a couple of coffees on the 12.40 from Leamington to London was efficient, both on his time and on his wallet. <laughs> As the wheels turned, the sparks began to fly. By the time they reached Houston, they knew they were a match. Six pounds down, but at last a potential lady in his life. And now on to Emily, who I'm sure you'll agree looks absolutely stunning today. I'm not sure if you're aware how we met. But in case you've forgotten, and there will be a test later, we actually met on a train, like most people. Luckily, Emily chose the big legroom seats, as you've heard. I brought lukewarm coffees, I think as you've also heard, and we talked for an hour and a half. I, I say that we talked, Emily talked, and I nodded along, which is something that has continued until this day. I'm now going to share, before I finish, I'm going to share some wisdom I received the other day. <laughs> I'm going to struggle this bit. <laughs> a life partner who makes you laugh and be the best version of yourself, whilst protecting you from your worst flaws, is a great treasure. Remember to be kind to each other, whatever happens in life, and your treasure will grow and grow. This is slightly less tears than last time, so I've done okay. I am incredibly lucky to have met, loved and married Emily. She makes my life better with her silliness, her vulnerability and her love. I love you, to Emily. <laughs> <laughs>